Hey guys, I'm Redshift and welcome back to Sky Factory 3. I'm just busy cooking up some conductive iron so that we can make energy conduits because I want to start automating um, hammering and sifting uh, of like cobblestone, well hammering cobblestone to gravel. That'll be the first step and then sifting that gravel. So I'm making this conductive iron so that we can make these energy conduits so we can get energy to all the machines. So as soon as this is done cooking, we'll grab that. Okay, so we've got the conductive iron. We just combine that with some conductive binder and we get energy conduit. So I think let's run the energy conduit along the top here. So then I can expand this way with more lava generators. As we need more power, I'll expand this way. So this machine will move. It won't stay here. Uh, so the next thing we want to build is the auto hammer. Now I should have all the resources for that. We're going to need a diamond hammer and some iron and stuff, which we should have. Uh, we've got two diamonds. These I got from sifting gravel the old fashioned way. Uh, then we need two of these plates, weighted pressure plates, and then we can make the hammer. Okay, so the hammer, I always want to leave a little bit of a gap so we can get to the machines and things. So we'll, we'll put the hammer here. And then we're also going to need a sieve. sieve. Uh, so the sieve is just it's one of those. We just need some sticks. Okay, gonna need two of these blocks. We're gonna need some glass panes. Um, I think I've got glass upstairs here still. Mm, yep. Okay, so we'll need some of those. And then we can make that. Okay, we don't need to carry that with us. Okay, so this... So we're gonna just hammer down from cobblestone to gravel over here. So we need to put a, a mesh inside of this as well. Now if you look at gravel, uh, if you look at the uses for gravel, come here to the sieve, You'll see that from string we get all of those things and flint gets all of the same stuff. Oh, flint actually removes flint. So I want to try and get all the resources possible from each kind of block that we served. So we should have a string mesh. Then we add lapis with a flint mesh. We add diamond with a iron mesh okay so basically we just need a string mesh so we add emerald with a diamond mesh so we just need a string mesh and then if we skip ahead to the diamond mesh we'll get all of the different kinds of resources that we can possibly get from gravel okay so the first one is going to be a string mesh i might still have some extra up here Let's see, that is string mesh, got it. So if we put that in there, oh, that's the hammer. Put that in there. Now we need to get cobble down to this. So hmm, I'm gonna need to extend this platform a little bit. Okay, that's plenty. Put some torches down. Okay, that's good. So, in between episodes, I made this drawer controller with this set of drawers, and that hole is right underneath this, so that we can grab stuff from here and uh, and put stuff back in as well. So we're generating infinite cobble. We've got auto cobble generation over here. 
So we could just grab cobble from this. Um, but I do want to make an item filter so that we only grab cobble. Uh, the ender IO filter is just a hopper and some paper. I think I've got some paper in the mob farm here somewhere still. Uh, this is actually starting to fill up. Our chest there is getting full. I think I saw paper here. Okay, we've got paper. And we probably still have some chests. We've got one chest. So we can make a hopper. And then we can make a basic item filter, the Ender IO one. And then we've got item conduit. I made some more of those as well. Okay, so we can attach that there. I'm going to make that extract on green and also insert on green. In out, so insert on green and extract on green. Okay, uh, then over here we want to insert only and we only want to insert cobblestone. So that's a whitelist for cobblestone. And we also want to connect power to this machine. And we want to take the power this way as well. So these guys should be filling up with power. Okay, great. And now if we take this item conduit all the way over there, let's try and keep the lines fairly straight. Okay, like that. So there. Okay, so this is hammering cobble. For some reason the texture doesn't look like cobble, but it is getting cobblestone. Then we need to take this cobblestone out from there. Oops. Oh, I'm going to need some more item conduits. So for that we need pulsating iron. We need one of these. This is ender pull and iron here. Okay, we should have some at our mob farm. Okay, so if we put um, those in there, and we've still got plenty of this conduit binder. Okay, so we've got the pulsating iron, let's turn that into nuggets, and then we can make item conduit. Okay, so then we can connect that there. I'm gonna put so all my um the only place things can go at the moment is there and those drawers i did lock them as well all of them so we can set this to insert and extract so extract on green always active so now any resources oh it's getting dirt over here oh wait okay so let's just make this extract only Let's get rid of all of this. We need to put a filter in there as well. Um, do I have my... Do I even have a wrench yet? I don't think I do. Okay, if we just break that bit. So we can set this to in out. We're going to, going to need another filter. So we use the last chest upstairs, right? Let's just quickly make another one, make another hopper, and then make another filter. And we can set this to get gravel. So, um, we want to insert gravel over there. Let's just get rid of those guys. Okay, so now if we put this back there, it should be getting more gravel. Okay, 
It's this one over. This one needs to be insert and extract. Always active. Okay. So now this one is getting more gravel and it is sifting the gravel. So now we'll just need to create some space for all of these guys to go. I think actually I want to store gravel upstairs as well. So if we can grab a piece from here. Then we can go up here. So I'm going to put like gravel, sand and dust here in case we ever need them. So now any extra gravel will should go in here. If the hammer is faster than the sieve. Let's see. So it looks like this is on 26 still. They might be fairly even. Okay, but now the next step is to process these pieces. So we need to assemble them. I wonder what kind of assembly options we have. No, no. Crafting tables. Crafters. I know Ender IO has a crafter, which is fairly expensive with this Z Logic controller. We've also got this crafter from RF Tools, which is much less expensive. Wonder if a tier one will do. How much is a tier three? Oh, tier three is not very expensive either. We just need redstone, and I don't know if we have a lot of redstone. Let's go check. I might still have some here. I've got one. That's not a lot. And I've only got six here. So we might have to do with a tier one for now. Uh, so let's see again. I'm gonna need golden lapis. Two lapis. Should have gold over here. Just need some nuggets. So one piece should do. And then, uh, okay, we've got all of those. Okay, should be able to do it. Oops, we must have had another fire here. <laughs> Let's put that there, okay. Okay, so let's make this guy. Then we're going to need two torches, two of those, and we're going to need two of those, and then we should be able to make this. Okay, let's see how much we can do with this. We can have two recipes only. Yeah, that's not enough. We're going to have to upgrade this. Okay, we should actually, we might get there. So we're going to need four more torches, which we can do just barely. And we're going to need four more crafting tables. Okay, we got tier two, we got tier three. Okay, so this is quite a few recipes. Let's hope that's enough. If it's not enough, we can just add more of them. Okay, so let's go put this downstairs. So where do I want all of this to happen? I want to leave a bit of space. So we still want to sift with the, what was of the diamond mesh as well. So we need space for that. We might need another hammerer, auto hammer, if this isn't fast enough. Yeah, this is kind of like keeping up. It's still on 25, 26 here. So it's kind of keeping up. Okay, so let's just leave some space here. Let's maybe put it there. And then we want to take we're getting iron ore pieces. 
so we create a new recipe for that and apply so that's going to put this to the external inventory now i think we might need a filter there as well because we don't like we don't want flint for example going in there okay so let's make another so we'll need a chest, we'll need a hopper, and then we'll need a filter. Okay. Uh, let's get the item conduit, put that on there. So this is going to be insert only for now, and we want to insert this. One, two, three, four, five. I don't know if that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's not quite enough. How much for the advanced filter? Item filter. Oh, that's also a Z logic controller. So we might have to put two inputs in here or have another crafter. No, let's see. Okay, let's just start with this guy for now. So if we connect that there, we should now be getting all the iron ore pieces. This needs power. We're going to need some more energy conduit. So for that, oh, for that I need three redstone. Hmm. Let me go and get some more redstone. So just dust in the iron stuff and mesh will do. Okay, let me go and do that and I'll be back when I've got enough redstone. Okay, so I've got the redstone and this conductive iron just finished. So we can make some more of the energy conduits. Then we can connect power to here. Okay, so it's crafted all of those into five iron ore chunks. Now it should just be a matter, let's start with the important stuff. So gold is fairly important. If we add gold to the whitelist here, then we create a new recipe for gold and apply that and it creates that as well. So I think let's take all of these out to a chest uh, but I want that I don't want the item conduits connected to the rest of my item conduit network so I'm gonna have the, a separate one there okay so if we no that's not where I wanted it so if we leave a gap there then we can put that there extract always active and make this one insert okay so all the chunks are going to get in get put into there then let's make another alloy smelter uh, let's see alloy smelter to cook those things so we're going to need three furnaces Need some cobblestone. I don't have. No, I think I put them all into the hammer. Okay, so. One, two, three of those. We need one of these chassis. I think we've got some. Yeah, we've got some bars there. And I think we've actually been getting capacitors from the mob farm here probably from loot bags i saw some there how many do we need we just need one right so let's take that one make this guy and then we need a cauldron we need some more iron are we getting iron from here silver electrical steel okay we'll have iron at our tinkers smeltery 
just gonna grab a stack on me because I always need it. So we'll make the cauldron. Sleep that iron there, and then we'll make this. Okay, and let's make another chest to put its output in so that we can see if we have a backlog or or the drawers get full or whatever, then we've got the chest as a little bit of a buffer. Okay, so I'm gonna put that there, put the chest there. Now I wanted to pull from that side and push to that side. And we just need power to that. Okay, uh, I'm gonna make this furnace only so that we don't get any weird mixes or anything in here. Okay, so this should uh, smelt these down and then put them on, in the chest on the right here and we can then pull that out. We're going to need some more item conduits. Yeah, we're getting to the stage where we are using a lot of item conduits with all the automation. Okay, let's just make a whole bunch of them. So we can then no, that's we want to extract from there. So we can disable this one. Uh, disable this one. Mm, that's what I don't want. Mm, I'm going to need a wrench because now this is happening. <laughs> no. Oh man. Hmm. Actually, let's maybe rethink things a bit here. Okay, so if we put the chest right there and the other one there and that there. And we take a conduit around the back. We shouldn't have this problem. So all that's active, so that can go in there. So we got that from there, those guys. We also got the flint from there. Okay, the stone, I'm not sure where the stone came from. Okay, so we can get this one back. Um, now let's break this one and place it again. Oh, it's cooking stone. That's where the stone came from. Okay, yeah, so these guys are supposed to go. I don't think I can put stuff into this inventory. No, I can't. So these guys are supposed to go here. What else? That one. Okay. So that's putting... This is putting stuff into this chest. That's grabbing from there and cooking it up. Let's get that stone out. We only want things we actually have in there. Okay, so let's make this. Let's connect this. Okay, so that's connected to the main item network. So if we extract this always and um, we would have had some iron in there. Okay, so that's got nowhere to go at the moment. Actually, I want to make this a high priority. Let's make this like a priority 10. Okay. So these are going along well. Next one. Let's see. Let's add a recipe for copper. 
and we add copper to the filter. Okay. So then copper. Why is this not extracting? Extract always active. Oh, this needs to be an insert. Okay, so that's going in there, and then this is cooking it up. Okay, great. So now we just need to add drawers at the top there so that these ingots have a place to go. Um, let's go see where we can do that. Okay, I don't... Which way are we going to go the most? So I think we can expand this way. That should be okay. But I do... I don't want any weird stuff going in there. So I want to lock the drawers before I add them. I think I saw some packing tape here somewhere. Um... packing tape I'm gonna have to do some work on this oh there's a wrench that's actually useful we need one of those diamond is always nice do we have place for diamonds here no we don't oh there we go got a lot of packing tape I wonder if you use multiples of them. So these aren't from the storage drawer mod, so I don't know if they'll work. Let's see. So let's get a stack of wood so we can make three storage drawers. Let's just make four chests. And then a couple of these. Might as well just make four of them. Okay. So what I want to see is if I put this down and I put iron in there, can I? Ah. Okay, so it looks like you shift right click. And then, huh, shift right click to remove the packaging. Okay, that's awesome. So that works. So then we can lock this. But come to think of it, these ingots, I should actually have them in uh, these compacting drawers. So that needs pistons, which needs redstone. Okay, we can make one of them. We've got too much stuff in our inventory. Let's get rid of that guy. Okay, so if I want to make a packing drawer, I'm going to need two of these. Did I put all the iron in here now? So two of those. And then uh, one of those. And we want this one to be iron. Okay. Let's lock that. Can we package that? We can. That's perfect. Okay, I want iron to be on top. So let's just put a block there. Put that there. Shift. Right click with an empty hand, maybe. <laughs> Oh, right, just right click, not shift right click. Okay. Cool. So if we break this one, 
Now all iron should go in there. And we can automatically extract blocks and nuggets as well, which is cool. Okay. Uh, let's pick up this iron, put that there. Okay, well, I need to do something with this inventory. Okay, so I'm just going to do the rest. Uh, the same for the rest of the ingots. Add them to the filter. Um, yeah, so now it's basically just a case of adding the ore pieces to the filter here, creating the recipe. They'll go to the chest, they'll get cooked up, they'll put it, get put in there. And then anything that's in here, I can just add storage drawers for that. And then I should also add a storage drawer for flint as well, so that we can store that upstairs. But this video is running a bit long, so I think I'll do that offline and uh, just show it to you next time. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.